Is it ever too early or too late to start investing for your future? Whether you're a fresh graduate, a mid-career professional, or nearing retirement, understanding the basics of investing is crucial. In today's video, Investing 101 Basics for Every Age Group, we're breaking down investment strategies tailored for each stage of life. We'll guide you through the journey of building a solid financial foundation, from your 20s to your 80s. Ready to navigate the investment landscape at any age? Hit subscribe and join us in unlocking the secrets to smart investing for every stage of your life. Understanding Asset Allocation Asset allocation is a vital investment strategy involving the distribution of your capital across various asset classes like stocks, bonds, and cash. Each class offers different risk levels and potential returns, shaping how your portfolio performs. Stocks or equities provide opportunities for significant growth, but they come with higher volatility. On the other hand, bonds or fixed income securities offer lower returns but bring stability and predictability, especially useful during market downturns. Cash and cash equivalents, including money market funds, ensure liquidity and safety, though they yield minimal returns. Diversification into other asset classes, like real estate and commodities, can also hedge against inflation and market fluctuations. The ideal asset allocation is unique to each individual, depending on factors like age, risk tolerance, financial goals, and market conditions. For instance, a younger investor might lean more towards stocks for long-term growth, while someone nearing retirement might prefer the stability of bonds. Beginning retirement planning, your 20s. Asset allocation, stocks, 80%, 90%, bonds, 10%, 20%. Your 20s are a golden era for setting a strong foundation for financial growth, thanks to the magic of compound interest. Despite potential student loans, beginning to invest early can lead to substantial growth over time. Focusing on stocks, particularly growth-oriented and diversified equities, is a strategic move, given their potential for high returns over the long term. The risk associated with stocks is mitigated by your extended investment horizon. Leveraging retirement accounts like IRAs and 400 and ONIX is crucial, especially with the IRS setting annual contribution limits and the possibility of employer matching contributions. For 2023, the contribution limit for IRAs is $6,500, and for 400 and ONIX, it's $22,500. These limits often adjust annually for inflation. Career focused, your 30s, Asset allocation, stocks, 70%, 80%, bonds, 20%, 30%. In your 30s, balancing career advancement with financial planning becomes paramount. It's a time to catch up or accelerate your investment journey, aiming to invest around 10%, 15% of your income. This decade often involves major life events like home purchases or starting a family, requiring a delicate balance between immediate financial responsibilities and long-term investment goals. At this stage, a gradual shift towards a more balanced portfolio is prudent. While maintaining a substantial allocation in stocks to ensure continued growth, introducing a larger percentage of bonds can provide stability and reduce overall portfolio volatility. This transition helps in safeguarding your investments against short-term market fluctuations while still capitalizing on the growth potential of equities. Regular contributions to retirement accounts, including maximizing employer matching and 400 and ONIC plans are crucial. For those who may have delayed investing in their 20s, the 30s offer a critical window to intensify savings and investment efforts, leveraging the remaining time for compound growth. Retirement-minded, your 40s, asset allocation, stocks, 60%, 70%, bonds, 30%, 40%. In your 40s, the focus on retirement planning intensifies. This phase is often marked by peak earnings, making it crucial to optimize retirement account contributions. It's a balancing act, pursuing growth while gradually shifting to more stable investments. The stock allocation, while reduced, still plays a significant role in portfolio growth. However, introducing a greater proportion of bonds helps cushion against market volatility. It's also a time to assess your long-term financial goals and adjust your strategy accordingly. This might involve revising your retirement age expectations or recalibrating your investment mix. A common challenge is managing competing financial priorities such as college savings for children and mortgage payments without losing sight of retirement goals. Almost retirement, your 50s and 60s. Asset allocation, stocks, 50%, 60%, bonds, 40%, 50%. As you approach retirement in your 50s and 60s, a conservative investment approach becomes increasingly important. The emphasis shifts towards capital preservation and income generation. A higher allocation in bonds and stable funds helps protect your accumulated wealth from sudden market downturns. This period is also an opportunity to assess your retirement timeline realistically. Consider engaging with a financial advisor to fine-tune your retirement plan, taking into account factors like life expectancy, healthcare costs, and potential lifestyle changes. 
Maximizing catch-up contributions to retirement accounts like 400 in Onyx and IRAs is a smart move as these additional contributions can substantially boost your retirement savings. For instance, those aged 50 and over can make additional annual contributions of $6,500 to 400 in Onyx and $1,000 to IRAs as of 2023. Fine-tuning your investment strategy during these decades is critical to ensure a smooth transition into retirement. Retirement, 70s and 80s. Asset allocation. Stocks, 30%, 50%. Bonds, 50%, 70%. In your 70s and 80s, the investment objective pivots towards income generation and wealth preservation. Maintaining a portion of your portfolio in stocks can provide potential growth and dividend income, but the primary focus should be on bonds for more predictable returns. This stage requires careful management of required minimum distributions RMDs, from retirement accounts. Failing to adhere to RMD rules can result in hefty penalties. For those with Roth IRAs, understanding the tax-free nature of withdrawals and the absence of RMD requirements can be advantageous, especially for estate planning purposes. Ongoing financial advice remains crucial, as the need to align investments with your retirement lifestyle, healthcare needs, and legacy aspirations becomes paramount. It's also a period to consider the potential need for long-term care and how it might impact your financial resources. Investing is a lifelong journey. The best time to start was yesterday. The next best time is today. As you age, your investment strategy should evolve with you. Meeting with a financial advisor can provide personalized guidance based on your unique circumstances. Remember, it's never too late to start investing, but the sooner you begin, the better prepared you'll be for the future. So that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to get all the latest updates.